Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Ro. In this video, we're going to be going over on how to make an experience bar, showing the level, the current XP, and the total XP to get to the next level. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our world settings, and we're going to go to our default pawn class and click Find Asset in Content Browser. Open up the character that you're going to be using for this tutorial. And on the left here, you'll look for ACF statistics component. And now under the ARS section, you're gonna hit leveling system and make sure that you have a leveling curve assigned. If you're using the ACF sample, it'll come with a leveling curve already predefined. So that's the one that I'm using. And if you double click onto it, you'll see that it'll show like what level you have to be. So for example, level two, you'll need 196 experience. And then at level three, you'll need 312 experience and so on. But you can create your own too. We'll go, with, we'll go over curves in another video. And I'll just start my character off at level one. And just to make sure this is accurate, I'll go ahead and scroll to events and on character level up, I'll just click this plus sign to add it and I'll extend and I'll just do a print string. So that will show on the top left and I'll connect the new level to here and I'll hit compile, save. And now you're gonna notice right now that in our HUD, it's only showing our HP, stamina and mana. So I'll escape out of that. And now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna be editing our HUD content. So you can click the HUD class and click find here just to take you to the appropriate folder. So you're gonna right click, create user interface, and we'll create a new widget blueprint. And I'll just click uh, I'll just click user widget, and I'll call this XP or WBP underscore EXP bar. And then I'll double click it. What we're gonna add here is a size box. I'll drag it here, and then I'll add a border, drag it inside, and then I'll add an overlay, drag it in. And now I'll add a progress bar, and I'll add a text, just a regular text. And I'll rename this progress bar by hitting F2 and just calling it XP bar and make sure that the is variable is checked. And for the text block, I'll change this one to level text and make sure the is variable is text as well. And now hit compile and save. And for this case, for the progress bar, I'll go to the XP bar. I'll just size this to something pretty small, I think like over here. And then for the text, I'm gonna change the text to black and I'm gonna increase the font size by clicking font and just expanding it, probably a little smaller, and I'll center it by clicking the vertical alignment center. Now I'll compile and save. First, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is click on this level text, and I'll go to the content, and next to text, I'll do create a binding. So we're gonna start off by getting the local ACF character. Just right click anywhere and type in get local ACF player character. And we're gonna expand this to three things. So we need to get current XP. So get current XP using the statistics component, total XP for next level, and we need to get our current level. So get, now what we're gonna do is convert these to text. So we'll do two text, two text integer three times. So one, two, three, and just make sure they're all connected. And now since this return node is only gonna take one value, so you can't connect all of them here, drag this out and type in format text. And then you'll just connect the first one and we'll add three pins in total and then break this one by holding alt and left clicking it. And now we're gonna drag our current XP to zero, EXP to next level to one and current level to two. And what we're gonna type in is, so the level is gonna be our curly bracket in two because we have that defined here as our two. And then I'll put a semicolon just like that. And then I'll click a space and add our current XP, which is connected to zero. So curly bracket zero, and then slash curly bracket one, because this is just gonna display the text of the current XP out of the max XP. And I'll hit compile, save, and we can test this out. Make sure you go to your WBP full HUD, your widget blueprint full HUD, and you can just add this in by going to your search. And I typed in EXP and just dragging it into, I just dragged it into here for now. But if the font looks a little too big, so I'm just gonna decrease that. And I'll go back to the WBP XP bar, go to designer, and you can just lower the font here. And I'll hit play. And you'll see it show level one out of a hundred. And I'll just test it out by real quick. And it updated to level five and it'll say 432 out of 596. And to have your enemies give you experience, um, you can just do the same thing with the ACF statistics component or AXP to give on death. So you'll have to fill this one out to get XP. And now what we wanna do next is our EXP bar isn't filling up like color wise. So it'll just stay like a white solid blank background. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our EXP bar. Instead of editing the text bar as we created the bind here under text, we're gonna go to the XP bar and create a bind under the percent. 
So we'll hit bind the dropdown. We'll hit the dropdown, hit bind, and click create binding. So for this one, we just need to get our current care our local character again. So we'll get our local ACF player character, and we're going to get current XP out of our total XP. So now we'll get the get total XP for next level. And now this value wants it to return a float. And right now we're passing an integer. So we're going to convert these to a float. So two float here and two float here as well. And then we'll, we'll just drag this one out and use the slash symbol to get the divide operation. Combine them. And then we're going to drag this into this pin. Hit compile and save. And just go back to the designer real quick. And you can set this to be a different color. Okay, so one thing I forgot is for the XP bar, you'll see the progress bar at the very top. Just make sure you click both of these to fill the entire thing. So if you don't want this to be like a boring gray background, you can just open up style. And then for the background image under tint, we can just set this to, I'll just do yellow. And then for the fill, it's blue. So I'll hit compile, save, and I'll test this out. And now you'll see the yellow XP bar. It looks really bad, but see the blue filling accordingly to the percentage. And that's pretty much how you work with XP bars. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.